Since I was two years old, I've always wanted to be a pilot. I was diagnosed with sickle cell disease when I was born. Sometimes the pain is dull. Sometimes it's sharp and throbbing, you know. It, sometimes it feels like pins and needles, but on a way more intense level. I was probably in the hospital once a month, you know, at least for seven days at a time. The mentality that my parents wanted me to have was that I was not defined by sickle cell disease. During my sophomore year of high school, you know, they had us all kind of meet with our counselors to kind of decide, okay, what are you gonna do with your career path? and. You know, we looked at options, they're like, okay, you know, you have sickle cell disease. Being a pilot is not an option for you. What are you gonna do? Like, what's your backup? And I didn't have a backup. First time that my doctor talked to me about um, gene therapy, I immediately was inspired to go ahead and go through with it. Cell and gene therapy is a cutting edge, new approach to treating patients. And it's not limited to one disease. Cellular therapy works in a couple of ways, and in one way it works as sort of a regenerative medicine. So if you have damaged diseases, you can use cells to help repair that. Um, in another way, you can use cells that you retrain to be able to help fight disease. Thanks to the generous grant from the late Bernie Marcus and the Marcus Foundation, we are opening this year and really aiming to become a national center of excellence to provide cell and gene therapies to the kids. This lab will be able to provide treatment not only for kids with cancer, but also kids that suffer from hemophilia, sickle cell disease, asthma, and heart conditions. It allows us to be able to provide life-saving, innovative therapies to kids that really are running out of options. I waited two months for my stem cells to be delivered from Massachusetts. The grant that was given and the vision provided from the late Bernie Marcus really is a game changer for us. Our researchers and our, our physicians are able now to go out and develop new therapies for children that we haven't been able to provide in the past. Within the walls of the hospital, we're able to develop and manufacture cells that we can directly provide to our patients. That means our patients are waiting less time and are able to get these life-saving therapies much sooner, preventing them from progressing to the next stage. We think that the therapies that we're able to provide will be life-changing for some of these patients. In the four years since I've had my gene therapy, I have not had a pain crisis. Gene therapy has definitely changed my life. So currently in that process to get my private pilot's license, that means everything to me, honestly. The exciting thing about the center is that our, our researchers now are able to come up with new ideas and new treatments for therapies in a way that they haven't been able to do so in the past. And most importantly, on behalf of the patients, we like to express our gratitude to the late Barney Marcus and to the Marcus Foundation to enable us to open up the trials that can so directly impact the care that we can provide to the patients. Well, my mentality now that I've had the therapy is that we're gonna shoot for the moon. <laughs>